Hi guys, uh, today we are going to see about React Native Vision Camera. Uh, before implementing that, we need to know the history of this uh, Vision Camera. Uh, let me go. Let me let go to check the NPM. See this this Vision Camera is the advanced version of React Native Camera. You have to know React Native Camera is published two years ago, which is having weekly downloads of above sixty thousand, and the size of this React Native Camera is one greater than one MB. Uh, you just uh, go to this home page, React Native home page. There you can see React Native camera is, camera is deprecated. They have given an alternative solution for React Native Vision Camera. You just go to check this Vision Camera. This Vision Camera was published just 15 days ago, which is 9-11-2023. They have published just 15 days ago. And the size is uh, it's under 800 KB. The weekly download is 45,000. So in this thing, they have given a lot of advanced features, features, all those things. Today we are going to see about these React Native Vision Camera, uh, how to how we can take uh, pictures. See, this is the thing we are going to implement. These React Native Vision Camera, we need to implement in this our basic app to check how this functionality will work. Uh, so before that, we need to give an Android permission. So I'm just currently giving only for focusing only for the Android device, which is you need to mention in Android manifest.xml. Here you need to mention these uh, two things for camera and record audio access. So initially when you see the other documentation, they have mentioned using use camera devices. Using that, we can take devices that back. So this device will give a result like that they have mentioned, but unfortunately these things is not working fine for now because this is just implemented just 15 days ago. So I have, I have checked that I have given an alternative solution for this. Uh, they have mentioned use camera device one thing. See here, device also they have mentioned devices. Two things was there. So I just used device back. Uh, I'm just going back to the code. See, currently I have just created a sample React Native project. So in this React Native project app.esh itself, I have given the, all this code to me. Before that, I will show uh, these Android permissions. You need to go to Android manifest.xml. You need to add these two lines uh, below the internet. Go back to app.tss. See here. Uh, I just used React Native Vision Camera. I have I have imported camera, use camera device, use camera devices. See here. Uh, initially, if you are seeing, they were they are using use camera devices. Uh, unfortunately, these use camera devices giving an array of object. If you are if you are taking use camera device that back, you will get an issue. Yeah, devices that back, you will get an issue. I uh, truthfully, it was undefined, so you will not get anything. So I have given alternator use camera device back. This is giving a few things. So I have used this camera thing also. Uh, first, I will show a demo to you. This is my React Native camera. I'm just clicking this picture. Yeah, just a second. Uh, okay, I'm just taking this picture. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, it was slow. Uh, when I'm clicking this picture, it's uh, pre populating the captured picture to us and it's asking us to retake or confirm. Uh, this is the exact picture. It's asking us to retake or confirm. Once, if you need to confirm, you just click a confirm. If you want to retake, you just click retake. Uh, it's retaking the picture. If you are just clicking again. See here, uh, you got an... App was closed. Uh, it's too much of MB.
okay uh, till now let me let me explain the core level things Uh, yeah, the code is the code is opened here. You just see uh, what are the things I have implemented. I just use this React Native use camera devices. The devices I have mentioned. You need to use this camera also to taking this camera. Uh, initially, uh, it will call the use effect. It will check this check user permission. These get camera permission status is giving the particular users permission for access to the to the camera for our app. So these are all things. This is the main thing. In case it's not worked, you just uh, go to your settings. You just enable the camera option into the, your app itself. Yep. Scroll down. Uh, go to the bottom of the thing. See. Wait. See how use this camera. I'm just allowing this photo and video to be true currently. You need to use ref. Uh, this use ref uh, only the important thing. Uh, on camera ready, it will call this current dot ref camera dot current equal to ref. This is the important one. So the devices which we taken earlier, which is here, uh, use camera devices back. That are the device. So the later uh, this will come here. Uh, it will go to the image. Uh, this is for previewing the things. So I'm just checking. So the things when I click take picture, it will go. It will go to this function take photo. So here I'm just checking this camera status. So camera dot current dot take photo. This will give a take photo. This photo will give a response here. I'm just showing here. See when you're clicking take photo, this will give a raw information. The information was height, uh, is mirror, is raw photo, is orientation path, all those things. This is uh, the thing preview. Using that you, you can preview the thing. Um, yeah, this is the basic thing I have implemented. You can use this camera audio record also, but the problem here we have faced this each and every screen we need to design by ourselves. Uh, so that's the main problem. Uh, the one key a uh, note you need to use, you need to use this thing, uh, which is use camera device back. The back is nothing but you accessing back camera. If you want to add front camera, you just rename to. Just rename to friend. Yes, this will rename to the friend. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this thing. Thank you, guys. Happy coding.